The cat don't want to play. Come on. Well, he does, but he don't want to play as rough as you play. Come on. Anyway, as I was saying, basically every year, like, our garden gets overtaken by weeds because we give up on them. My dad's too old. To Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday. It is stupidly cold outside today. It is only, like, 19 degrees, something like that. 20 degrees. It's pretty cold. Like, 18, I think. I don't know. It was pretty cold last night. And it's snowing today, which makes it even colder, because the winds are blowing, and it's really cold. And I gotta go feed the chickens and stuff. I gotta take my dog outside for a walk, too. Take my dog for a walk, then we'll feed the chicken, and I'll go film it, because I have to do everything by myself, because there's no one to help me, and it's just a pain in the butt, because the chickens went out bad, and they just, they go crazy. Anyways, guys, let's get this day started. I will come back in a minute. Sorry, guys, for interrupting this video, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on, and some other stuff, but... Thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube Back on the Hate Speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks unless you're a late night talk show host. But if you guys really want to help me and support my channel, you can do what is happening right here, probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing right there. See, you can subscribe, click the bell, and there's some ding dings right there. See, that, that's pretty. But really, guys, if you want to do that, it would really help my channel. Now, let's get into the actual video. So, bye, guys. I'm back. My dog's here, right, Jiggy? Hey, Jiggy, Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy, Jiggy. We're going for a walk. Can you handle it? It's pretty cold outside. Huh? Can you handle it? You want to go outside? We're going for a walk, huh? Just don't hurt your legs. If you gotta stop walking, tell me, and I'll pick you up and carry you inside. Don't fall over and die. You don't know what I'm talking about. When it gets cold like this and snowy, my dog will walk, and he'll want to go for, like, a long walk, and he won't be able to handle it, and then he'll get hurt, and then he'll just fall over and just lay down and die. He'll literally, like, Ooh, pff, like fall over like he's dead and can't walk. Because he hurts his feet real bad. Don't ask me why he does this. Uh, we try to put booties on him, but he tries to bite it. Because he doesn't like no one touching him with anything. And he's a pain in the butt. We try to put like dog boots on him or dog shoes so he doesn't hurt his feet. Which we tried, and he tries to bite us when we do it. So we just gave up on it. He, the dog hates anybody touching him. Or doing anything weird to him or putting anything near him. He doesn't even let people cut his toenails or anything. It's ridiculous. Right, Jake? Right. Yeah, you're a little hassle, aren't you? Anyways, guys. Let's go take a walk. I will cut back a bit. So, bye right, guys. I'm back. We're going to go for a walk. And I'm going to bring my dog back in. And I'm going to go do the chickens without him. Because he won't be able to stay here in the cold for very long. Like I usually, usually when it's warmer, I'll just take out there and hook him up to the fence so he can't. Come on, Jake. We got to go this way. Come on. It is very, very, very cold out here. Very, 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 very cold. Right, Jake? Right, Jake? Jake understands. Man, why is it so cold? It's very, 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 very cold. Anyways, guys, I gotta really watch my dog because when it gets cold like this and snow, he can't walk very far and he gets hurt and then he acts stupid like he can't know what to do and he just falls over and acts like he's just gonna die. Like if he's out in the, like if he's by himself, he probably would die because he would just lay down and die in the cold because he's crazy. Like why do why do dogs do that? Or my dog is he just stupid or what? Uh, he's weird. Come on, Jake. Do other dogs do that? Like, if you have a dog and you live in the cold and it gets really, really cold, does your dog just lay down and act like he's gonna die in the cold? Or is it just my dog because he's crazy or he can't handle the cold or something? Like, I really like some perspectives on this. I don't know. Maybe it's just my dog. Or maybe he knows I'm gonna carry him so he does it. So I'll carry him. Who knows? Come on, Jake. Man. It's a blistering cold. Actually, it's not super bad until the wind blows. When the wind blows is when it's really cold. The wind's not blowing right now, which is a good thing. For the most part. Right, Jake? Right, Jake. Whew. Chickens went out bad. I can hear that they're going nuts. They're crowing and carrying on. They went out bad. <sighs> Too bad for them. I can't let out. We really need to build an area that doesn't get snow so they can run around. Like, be nice if we could put, like, uh... Well, uh, hmm. be nice if we could put like a roof over the whole chicken house area which would be cool but that would be a lot of money but then they could go out and we could just open the door and then we could run out in the fence in the cold like this that way they could still run around because like the, the snow is what really hurts them not really well the cold does too if it's like really really cold they could get frostbite on their on their on their combs and stuff but it's really their feet that really get affected by the cold because they walk around in the snow and they're 
snow will freeze their feet and burn them because it's cold. Super. The snow is super cold. Man, I can't talk. And the sun's super bright right in my face. Man. Anyways, guys. What can we talk about? Oh. I don't even know. We're being followed, though. How long have you been back there, kitty? Meow. Ha. Whew. Anyways, guys. What do we want to talk about? I don't even know. It's so cold, I can't even think straight. Let's talk about what we're going to do in the summertime, maybe. Me and my dad had a conversation last, or a couple days ago. Not really a conversation. Mostly I told him what I wanted to do. And he said, fine. Basically, I would like to start a little market garden farm thing going on. Which I have no idea how to do. Because one, we don't grow enough food right now to do it. And one, we have... Jake, you can't go over there. I know what you're after. Come on, Jake. Jake. Anyway, right now our garden's not big enough for a market gar farm thing. Because we'd probably, have to, we'd probably have to make, like, take our garden, multiply by, like, four or five times to make anything big enough to really make enough money to really make it even feasible. Like, you know, like, you'd have to... So basically what I told my dad is, if I take care of the garden this year and don't get overtaken by weeds, because every year our garden gets overtaken by weeds because we just don't... We just give up on it. Because I just get too... Like, see, I like planting stuff and watching stuff grow. And then it'll, like, our weed seed bank in the garden is stupidly high. So as soon as it rains, like, the weeds just pop up and take over the entire garden, like, a week. Like, it's pretty crazy. Come on, Jake. Jake, leave the kitty cat alone. Jake, leave the cat alone. He's going to beat the crap out of you. Get him, Jake. Come on. Jake, the cat don't want to play. Come on. Well, he does, but he don't want to play as rough as you play. Come on. Anyway, as I was saying, basically every year, like, our garden gets overtaken by weeds because we give up on them. My dad's too old to work in the garden anymore. He doesn't have time because he works all day. And I have plenty of time all day, but I'm just too lazy to do it because, one, it gets super hot. And then it's, like, in the springtime, it's really hard to weed the garden because it's either raining every day or it's super hot. Like, in the spring, it's super wet and you can't really get out and do anything because it rains, like, almost every day in the spring. And then in the summer, it's like a billion degrees most days. And then every weekend, we're basically mowing the grass because the grass grows like crazy. And we got to take, it takes a whole day just to cut our grass with a riding mower because there's so much grass. But, so it's a pain. You'd have to be out there like, you'd have to, oh, in the summertime, the weeds just, they just go crazy. Like you'll be sitting there one day, you have the whole garden plant, won't be any weeds in the garden. Will you come on? You'll be sitting there, there won't be no weeds in the garden one day. You get some rain, it'll be 70 degrees for like two days, and boom, the whole garden's over with weeds already. Like our weed seed bank in the garden is way, way too big. And the only way you can really combat that is to just, one, let the garden just be overtaken with weeds every year. Two, pull them up by hand, which would take like two weeks, because or, or you can take the real tire through it and beat the crap out of your soil with it every other day every other week which is what my dad used to do when he was younger we used, we had this big road tire and he'd make the rows big enough so he could take the road tire through it which is bad for the soil because it really kills all the micros and stuff because you're not supposed to do that so this year i'm gonna try a new tactic which is light cultivation of just like the top like three inches or so of the soil where it won't be a road tire. i'm just gonna take like a hand thing and just run it through there once a week and that should disturb the seeds to where it'll flip them over and it won't be able to grow. And it should work. And then hopefully the garden should be easier to take care. Because once we get too big, they just you just can't eat them but pull them out. Because they just get so big. We have a bad thing. Like the weeds we have in our garden that's that are really bad is we have grass in the garden. And we also have like what do you call it? Ragweeds, which are these big plants that get really big. We also get a bunch of dandelions for some reason. But yeah, all that is just, those are like our main weed problems. We also get these weird vines that take over the entire garden. Don't ask what those are. And the reason why our garden has so many seeds in it is because we don't take care of the grass around it. Like this area right here, it just gets like 10 feet tall with grass and grass seeds in it and the wind blows and blows right into the garden. You know what happens. So I'm gonna try to limit that. I want to, 
to try to dig it up, but it's hard to do because that's what we're going to throw rocks and stuff every year and dig them out of the garden. And plus, it's like a really big, like, tilt and it's really clay, like hardcore clay there. Like, it feels like cement right there. And it's just really hard to do. I'll put, they can put flowers there every year or flowers that'll take over and just grow every year, bring in pollinators and stuff. But that's just the dream. Maybe this year I'll try it. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It's really caught it here. So, hi guys, I'm back. My dad's here, right, Dad? Arrogant. Yeah, right, Dad? Right, Dad? Are you giving credit? Right, Dad? Are you pulling out? Dad. I don't talk to you. Jake. Don't let Jake knock your coffee over. I ain't no coffee What up, Jakey? What up there, boy? Huh? What up there, Jakey dog? Jake doesn't even know. Isn't that right, Jake? Mm, he wants, he wants to go. Out. Did you ever take him out? Yes, I did. It's colder than heck out there. <laughs> He's nice and warm. Why is he so hot? Was he on stand in front of the heater? Yep. Was he really? Yep. He feels really hot. Right, Jake? Right. So, you have anything to say for the vlog? <laughs> what about the cold? It's been happening. It's really cold outside today. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Well, um, yeah, actually, it's, it's usually colder than this. You yeah, know, this is a little bit below normal. Uh, not really. Not for January. It's usually really cold in January. Yeah, it was warm last year. No, it wasn't. The year before. No, it wasn't. The year before. The no, year it before. was really cold. Remember, it was cold. Really, really cold that one year. No. no. Yes, it was. It was really cold last year too. Remember. I remember back when how yay high, that high. Mm -hmm. that high. Yeah. Okay. And and what about this? Uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> you just said you remember it. Well, you gonna tell about how the snow was twenty feet tall? Yep. You had to plow you out with government, uh, national guard. Had to plow you out. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> it's true. I know they did. They plowed the field out too because they thought it was the road. Yep. Because that's how they're getting through there because the road blows shut. Yep. Because <laughs> it's deeper there than the rest of the road. After they went around that way, or around <laughs> back that way and down free. <laughs> they had to come dig you out. You had to walk to the store. Dig us out, they plow us out. You had to walk to the store. Yep, you can ask somebody about that. <laughs> Didn't you take like a sled to get food in or something? Sled and a backpack. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't work the cookie kept falling off of it. So <laughs> the groceries fell off the slit. Was the main roads plowed? I don't know. How did anybody get to the store? If <laughs> I think the main roads. Well, I take that back, Harvey. <laughs> how did anyone get to work then if the rain road wasn't plowed? Oh, people didn't. Well, then how did they keep it open for you to go get food? Would you still? I want for you slow. <laughs> yeah, but... Never mind. Mm. <laughs> kid next door. The kid next door. Gee. Uh. What was his name? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys. Oh, I will... he, he knows who he is. <laughs> anyway, guys. I will talk to you in a few minutes. I'm in the vlog. So, bye, bye, guys. I'm back. Good, good vlog. Didn't really do that day. <laughs> Walked around in the cold, cold, cold. But my dog is really cold outside. And then we'll argue about that for a little bit, the usual. But, anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll roll the outro. Bye, guys. I'm back. If you made it this far, I want to say a big thank you because watching a lot of my videos like this, if you watch to the end, leave something below, like banana or lemon. or Leave, leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far. Well, it'll be our little secret to anyone who doesn't watch to the end. You won't know what's happening in the comments. One, because comments are good for the algorithm. And two, watch you do my videos and it's good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, it'll be awesome. Also, there's videos here, here, and here. There's two bits on my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great also. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Woo!